We're back from summer break. I'm Lauren Matheson. And I'm John Nash. Well, men's soccer picked up a 2 0 win over NJIT this past Friday. Eric Hurtado scored two goals, moving him to seventh all time on the Santa Clara career scoring list. Quite an accomplishment for Eric. Congratulations to him. They now play San Diego on Friday and Loyola Marymount on Sunday to open up West Coast Conference play. Well, women's soccer picked up two wins over the weekend against Cal State Northridge and Washington State. Also over the weekend, Julie Johnson got recognized as the WCC Player of the Week and the Top, do top Drawer Player of the Week. Lauren, certainly great to have Sophia and Julie back on the Mission campus, huh? Sure is. I got an exclusive interview with Julie and Sophia about their experience over the U-20 World Cup. I'm here with Julie Johnson and Sophia Huerta, who just got back from the U-20 World Cup. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks for having us. So, you guys had a long break over in Japan. What's it like being back now? Um, it's honestly amazing. I can say on my part that when I was in Japan, I always had Santa Clara in my heart, and the girls and the team and the coaches. It's just, I was always thinking of you guys. Um, obviously, I tried my hardest to live in the moment, but it's like I always wanted to be back. So being back is actually one of the most amazing feelings, and being with you guys finally. Especially being with Julie, because me and Julie haven't played together for a very long time. Yeah. So it was nice to finally have Julie and I both back here. And Jules? Um, I love it. I mean, I try to stay in contact while I was there, and I, we before we started this, knew that we were going to be missing some games, which is hard to do because this is like our home. Mm -hmm. But um, I kept in contact with Soph, so I got to talk, the Facebook <laughs> thing, we were never in the exact same city, but um, being on the field together is really special. Soph and I kind of have like a special bond on the field, yeah. so it's really nice, especially being back, not just with the team, but also with Soph, who also had a great experience um, like I did too. Yeah. Be sure to check out the individual interviews with Sophia and Julie on SantaClaraBroncos.com. Hey, Lauren, good luck on Thursday as you guys host the Bulldogs of Fresno State right here in Buckshaw Stadium. Thanks, John. Well, Broncos Cross Country continues their season at the Stanford Invite. Good luck to the Broncos as they run in Palo Alto. Well, Lauren, I think it's time to meet two of our latest additions to the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap team. That would be John MacArthur and Denzel Johnson as they give us the latest on Santa Clara basketball. Thanks, John and Lauren. We're coming off an exciting summer of workouts. Uh, we're happy to get into our fall workouts uh, and get better this fall. So far in this fall, we've been doing two individual workouts per week, as long as one team workout. Also lifting four days a week. Our team's really excited to get going and have the season kick off. We started official practice October 12th, so we can't wait to get there. And back to you, John and Lauren. Sure is exciting having John and Denzel aboard this year. Well, men's water polo picked up three wins this weekend at UC Davis in the Aggie shootout. John Nash had numerous great saves, and Tucker Carlson had a great offensive performance. Good luck to the men and yourself as they play in SoCal's this weekend. Thanks, Lauren. Really means a lot. The men's tennis team picked up some good news this weekend as they received word that two players are now ranked in the singles and doubles side of things in the latest ITA rankings. We had a chance to catch up with them just the other day. Uh, well, the rankings, John is 40 in the country, Ilya is 103, which is, John's got the highest preseason ranking we've ever had at Santa Clara, and both guys, we've never had two guys actually in the preseason rankings at Santa Clara, so it's, a, it's actually a, a really good pat on the back for what we did last year, and these guys had two great years last year, um, and in doubles, uh, they're 30 in the country, which is the highest we've ever had preseason. So that's an, another indicator that these guys had great years last year. So what we're hoping is not to rest on our laurels and, and really like kick it up a notch. And it just shows that that we're ready to, to ready to like kind of move forward and, and bigger and better things for this year. So yeah, our team can aim big this year. We had a great last season, so hopefully we can do better this year. And we have a great fitness this year, so. We're going to be fit for next year, that's for sure. Well, the women's volleyball team had a good start to West Coast Conference play as they picked up a win on Thursday against Gonzaga, and they won the first set against a tough and ranked Toreros team from University of San Diego, but ultimately fell in four sets. They'll be back at, back at it this upcoming Saturday against another ranked opponent, the Pepperdine Waves. Our newest addition to the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap, Allie Rambis, had a chance to sit down and talk to her teammate, Megan Anders, and her coach, John Wallace, about the upcoming game. Thanks, John and Lauren. Allie Rambis here with Megan Anders and John Wallace. So, Megan, you've been named to all four all-tournament teams this season. What are some keys to your success? 
Um, I think some of the keys to our success in the middle this year is that um, our passing and serve receive has gotten a lot better, so it's really easy to run the middle, as well as Alyssa. She's the setter that I work with. Um, she can set me from like 15 feet off the net, which is great, as well as our speed to the pins with our set. Um, the other blocker has to respect our pins much more, so they um, aren't stuck with me as much, which is great. So it's easier for me with the fast system we run. So um, really, the team system we run um, it contributes a lot to the success in the middle of the season. Wow, well thanks Meg, it's been awesome seeing you grow these past three years. And John, so you've hired two new coaches this year and we've been playing really well as a team. What do you think will be some keys to our success for this season? Well, for sure, Megan continuing her success. Uh, her and Alyssa Anderson have a great, great uh, chemistry on the court and they just seem to connect anywhere, which is awesome for us. Um, the new hires, Matt Lyles and Aaron Mansfield, has just has given us a real solid staff. I think we're really professional. We prepare well. Each practice is better. Um, with better practices, we'll get better for the matches. So going forward for us is we got to believe and we got to trust in each other in our preparation, and I think we'll be just fine. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. And don't forget to come to our game on Saturday at 1 o'clock against number 18 Pepperdine. Good luck to the Broncos as they face Pepperdine this weekend. Well, that's it for the Bronco Weekly Sports Wrap. I'm Lauren Matheson. And I'm John MacArthur. And I'm Denzel Johnson. Go Broncos!